Hi, today I'm going to show you the push-up core sandwich. And this is a great little um, exercise that we do with the high school cross-country team that I coach. And I also assign it to a lot of adult athletes whom I coach. It's something you can do after a hard or easy run just to get a little bit of core and upper body strength work. So it doesn't take long, but it's effective. Do it two, three times a week. And for the core exercises, uh, you're gonna do uh, bicycles, we're gonna do twists, we're gonna do some uh, exercise called a, a bird dog, and then we're gonna do a, uh, another one that we call supermans. Um, and then in between each of those, we're gonna do push-ups. And that's why it's called the push-up core sandwich. So the push-ups, I like the bread and the core is kind of like the meat and the lettuce and the tomatoes or whatever else you put on your sandwich, okay? So here we go. Um, we do 10 push-ups and then we do the core exercise. Then we go back and do the 10 push-ups and back and forth until we're done. And uh, we finish up. We start with push-ups. We end with push-ups, all right? So first one, 10 push-ups. And then we go into bicycles, and we're going to do 25 of these. And one is uh, each side. So put your hands on the side of your head, not back up here, but uh, side of the head, and pretend you're riding a bicycle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then after you do the core, you go back and you do the 10 push-ups. So, you can take your time through here. It's not meant to be too much time in between each one, but it's also not meant to be rapid, rapid, quick, okay? So, 10 push-ups now. All right, so the next one we're going to do is called twists, and you can uh, use no equipment, you could use a medicine ball if you have one, if you have dumbbells, you could use a dumbbell, and what you're going to do is, if you don't use any weights or medicine ball, I'll use one, but if you don't, just hold your hands, and what you want to do is just twist but make sure that your head is following your hands so you start out with 20 same thing this is one one two three harder with a medicine ball. If you don't though, it's still pretty hard, but just follow your head, your hands back and forth. That's the key. Don't do this. That doesn't work. Okay, you gotta twist your body. All right, now we go back and we do our 10 push-ups.
All right. Whew. Next one. Uh, you can stay in this position. Next one's called a bird dog. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift this arm, so our right arm and our left leg, and then we're going to bring them together. And we're going to do that 10 times on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we go to the other side. So that kids, um, you can you can increase it as you get stronger, but we start with ten. Now we go back and we do the push-ups again. Push-up core sandwich. There's a lot of bread in this sandwich. one is really good for your lower back and your glutes. As a runner, those don't typically get worked and we need to make sure they're strong because that's a place where we get injuries or the glutes really do need to be strong and they need to be balanced for you to be a fast and effective runner or efficient runner. So, Superman's. What you do is you lie down and you put your arms out here and then you just simply lift your legs and your arms. Make sure you're breathing. That's one, three, push-ups again. We're almost there. We got one more core exercise after this. And of course we got two sets of push-ups. So, ten more. Then, all right, last core. This one's a little tough, and but we love to do it on the high school team, and we keep working our way up. We increase every week until we get to about 60. And we get some kids that like to go to 70. Overachievers is what we call them. This so last one's called Pats. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to raise our feet up and we're just gonna pat the ground. One, two, with our feet up. And so we're just gonna count slowly, not one, two, three, four, five, but slowly. One, two, three. And we'll start with 30, but I encourage you to do this um, routine a couple times a week and work your way up to 40 and then 50 and see if you can get even more, okay? Don't forget, after this, we still got push-ups. All right. So, raise your hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And when we're counting in the high school, sometimes we stop, you know, and uh, we really try to frustrate the kids. It's quite fun, but they love it. Fifteen, sixteen. Alright, we're 
We're not done. We still got the push-ups. Ten of them, and then we're done. So go right into them. And there you go. There's the push-up core sandwich. So we did 60 push-ups and we did all the different core exercises. And you can add any other type of core exercises that you want um, or subtract and do whatever you'd like. But um, also do the push-ups and uh, do these after, you can do them after hard or easy runs. Um, but it, it is very effective and it will get you strong, full body. All right, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.